Hello everybody and welcome to BarkerCabinets.com. My name is Chad Barker. I'm going to show you today how to download and install Cabinet Vision with Barker Cabinets catalog already loaded. All right, so let's go on to our Cabinet Vision page. After you get done reading through all of the information here, you will have a download button. You're going to click on that and it will download it directly to the download directory in your browser or wherever you save it to. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open this guy up. And what you're going to see is a warning screen. Basically read through this. You don't install this program. If you have another version of Cabinet Vision, basically what it's going to do is it's going to overwrite anything you have there and it could destroy what you have already in your system, making a big problem for you. So don't do it. Uh, this is also a trial version of Cabinet Vision. Uh, you will be required to register with Cabinet Vision prior to using the software. So after we install this thing, you're going to have to register with Cabinet Vision. They're going to want some personal information. They're going to try to sell you the software. It's excellent software, I must say. Uh, they're going to try to, uh, you know, try to get you into it. Uh, if you're a designer, I'd highly recommend buying it. I believe it's about uh, $995 for the most basic package that they have. Uh, you would then be able to get catalogs and whatnot and start adding more stuff in and be able to design all your stuff in the future. But as of right now, you can do the free trial and that will be just fine. So let's accept that. We've got that. You're going to install everything to the CPlanet Solid 8 database. Ideally, do not change that, the destination folder. Just install it to that one right there. Uh, if you do, you could have other issues with the catalogs not loading. So let's install. If it asks you to make changes to your device, just say yes. And it should now come over to this. So I just minimize that. I'm using Firefox. So I just basically minimize this guy. Go over here. You're only going to have one language available. It's in English. That's the only one we support currently with our catalog. Say continue and it will take you through the rest of the setup. So there's really not a lot you have to do here. Just click all the defaults and you'll be good to go. Let's wait for it to install here. Click next. A little bit of paperwork stuff here. Again, default directory. C planet. Don't change anything there. Keep going. Inches, obviously. Unless you're using millimeters, you can, but just keep it on inches. It's a lot easier. All right, so it's going to do the, rate, the basic stuff in the background here, and that is going to be moving on as quickly as possible. All right, so everything's completed now. Everything's been installed. We just click Finish here. We're going to minimize this browser, and if you notice on your desktop, you're going to see you have Solid Essential 8. Let's double-click on that guy. That's a new one there, and you're going to see this thing. It's all grayed out right now. You're going to say either trial or buy. Most likely you're going to go trial. That's to get your 30-day trial from Cabinet Vision. We do not control the license, people. So remember, if you have issues with the, the license and whatnot that's going on there, uh, sometimes it takes a little, a little while for this thing to go through, but you will be required to set up with Cabinet Vision. By clicking that trial button, you're going to come up to the Cabinet Vision website. You are then just going to fill it out. It's pretty simple. I don't believe that they're selling your information, but you can use whatever information you want here. So I'm going to go through here and I'm going to fill this one out. Just a random stuff here, so just using a random email. Okay, so I've finished all that out and then I'm going to say continue. And then what should happen here is it will email you some authorization codes. And the nice thing about the other authorization codes is you don't have to enter those authorization codes until uh, you've actually loaded up the program. It's been fully uns uh, you know, installed. Ideally, what you want to do here is wait for a little while. Uh, I've seen this happen where it takes a few minutes before it really gets going. So right here, you might be saying, hey, this thing isn't working. Uh, usually, what you have to do is wait for a few minutes before this is the background has actually uh, registered uh, the code so that you can push OK. All right. So don't just go off and, and you know, close all this stuff. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to close this window. And then we'll wait. All right. So it still hasn't gone out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back out of this. It says security key not found. I'm going to go back over here and then I'm going to go to Solid Essential 8.0. Double click on that. Okay, so I basically what happened was I had to wait. Uh, if you actually look at the clock down here, we had to wait almost 20 minutes before Windows 10 finally decided to update. 
and this is the window that finally popped up. Okay, it says uh, a license has been successfully created. You will receive an email with your authorization code, obviously. You click OK, and then finally it allows you to say OK. And I have had a few emails in the past here regarding, hey, it's getting, it's grayed out. It won't let me do anything. Again, yeah, like, like 20, 25 minutes. Ridiculous. So it's just Windows 10. It seems to be faster on Windows 7 uh, on my previous installations. Uh, but again, it's Windows 10. It's almost as bad as Vista. So anyway, that's it. So you, sit, you select OK. That's fine. It does its backups. It converts everything. Uh, so ultimately, the goal here was waiting. Um, I've had a lot of people asking about that. So, yeah, always fun. Other than that, I didn't do anything else. Now we're into the product itself. We go over to Utilities, and then we enter our authorization code. Okay, so once you have authorization codes all entered, then you just click OK. Okay, I had an error there, so make sure they're entered perfectly. There we go. Okay, and then you should be able to go through here and we can open up a project. So I'm just going to set up all the defaults. So basically what you do is you go through here and I will create more videos on how to do it from this screen. Ultimately, you are good to go. Uh, you can open up these things, draw walls, and you can put cabinets in there and pretty much anything else you could think of. So... Uh, next video that you can watch will be how to do it and how to get a general layout idea or get, get a general feel of, of cabinet vision and we can get started from there. Thank you. Have a good day.